Hey guys, today we're gonna go over the Ask My Accountant category in QuickBooks and some tips and tricks about how I use it. My website is finepoints.biz. My name is Morgan and I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. When I first got this question from one of you guys, I wasn't sure if I could make a whole video on it, like if there was enough to say, but when I got thinking about it, I feel like there are some helpful things I'm gonna share. So I'm gonna talk about what's the benefit of it, where to find it, how to create new accounts, what sub accounts that I create in Ask My Accountant, and then how I send the reports to my client. So let me know in the comments if you use the same process or if you have any other tips and tricks to make it even better. So first of all, what are the benefits of Ask My Accountant? Basically, this is a place to put transactions that you don't quite know where they go yet. It's kind of like a holding area and it's a way for you to organize your questions. So I'm gonna show you how you can, you know, have a different set of questions or mystery transactions for your accountant or for your client or for yourself. You can use it as a way to kind of flag transactions that you need to remember later. And the goal is to get everything correctly categorized, right? So instead of just sticking something in a category you're not sure of, I use it as kind of a holding area to check certain things. And the main benefit of this is you can still reconcile with this using this Ask My Accountant account. So it's not gonna slow down your bookkeeping process because an alternate workflow might be to leave things in the bank transactions tab and not categorize them yet. But in that case, you wouldn't be able to reconcile because QuickBooks wouldn't know that that transaction exists. So in this case, you're kind of telling QuickBooks, oh yes, this is an expense. I know it's an expense, but I'm just not quite sure where to put it yet. I need more information. All right, now I'm gonna take you inside QuickBooks and I'll show you practically a little bit more about how exactly I use Ask My Accountant. All right, first let's just look briefly at where is Ask My Accountant and kind of what does it look like when you get into QuickBooks. So if you go into Transactions and then your Chart of Accounts, you have all your accounts here, of course, and then you can pay attention to the account type. I always find that helpful. So there's bank accounts, there is assets, there are income accounts. Usually Ask My Accountant is an expense. So here it is right here. Most of the time this will come with your QuickBooks like as one of the, you know, standard accounts. It doesn't always, it kind of depends on, you know, what version of QuickBooks you're using and what type of business you have. But it's right here in the chart of accounts is, is an expense account. And then when you pull a profit and loss statement, so if you just go to reports, and then profit and loss, and let's get all the dates and run it. You can see it is on your profit and loss here. So right here is ask my accountant. So this is gonna help us later when we are pulling these reports. But right now let's make a couple other accounts as sub accounts of this in case that is helpful to you and how you organize. Again, you can do this however you want, you know, it's totally up to you. It's in your own style of organization, but I'm gonna create a few examples just to give you some ideas. So I'm gonna make a new account in the chart of accounts, I'm gonna make an expense, and I'm gonna make it a sub account of Ask My Accountant. And then let's do Ask Susie. So maybe Susie is someone who works for your client, or maybe it's your client, and these are specific questions that you don't know like where to put them and then Susie is going to be the person who is you know going to answer your questions so right there that is ask Susie and then let's create another one same thing and then this tax form section I don't think is super important I just kind of put my best guess let's do depreciation so maybe anything you need your accountant to depreciate, because maybe you as the bookkeeper don't really deal with depreciation, but someone else is doing that, then you can put all of the things in there. And then maybe you also make one for yourself. And this is probably more than actually I do. I kind of just find it easier to group them together. But again, depending on the number of transactions and how much you want to organize them, you can do this. And again, these are all going to be categorized to a different place later, but this is just a holding account so that you can flag these things for certain people. Let's make one that says payroll questions because maybe you were having, you had a little payroll issue and you need to keep a few transactions set apart and separate, but you still want to, you know, do the monthly reconciliation. Okay, so then you can see in my chart of accounts, I have the Ask My Accountant, and then I have ones for Susie, ones for depreciation for my accountant, and then payroll questions. So let's put a few things in there so we can, you know, see them on the profit and loss. So here is my bank transactions where I am categorizing things. Let's do, maybe I don't know what this is, so let's go putting that into Ask Susie. And then this is something else that needs to be depreciated, we think. So we're gonna 
put that in that bucket. And then what else do we have here? Maybe this is a payroll question that I had. And you could definitely make some income accounts if you, you know, have the same system, but for like income and you don't know where it's supposed to go. All right, and I'll put a few of these under depreciation. Because maybe these cars were going to depreciate. Usually it's higher dollar amounts, but let's see what this is. Depreciation. Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention, say for Susie, we give this to her and then you can definitely utilize this memo field, especially if you have specific questions for Susie. So you could just say, should this... So should this go under Joe or Trevor? Because maybe this certain vendor or this type of transaction, sometimes it goes to Joe and sometimes it goes to Trevor. So you can tell Susie whatever information you want her to know. Or maybe it is a meal. This one comes up a lot for me. If there's a meal expense, some expenses for restaurants are going to be 100% deductible and some are only going to be 50% deductible. So you could say... So you could say, is this an office party with everyone? Because like a Christmas party is going to be deductible 100%. And that is a different rate than just like Susie going out to lunch with a client. So again, utilize this memo field. That's going to just kind of save you some manual effort if you just type it in now. And then Susie can do it without much help from you. All right, then let's go back to our profit and loss statement and see how that looks over there. So I did a refresh of that we have the things for Susie, the things that for depreciation and then the payroll questions that are probably for me so depreciation maybe my accountant i have added my accountant as a user in this so they can already log in themselves and go see this and then deal with this thing maybe i just like shoot them a quick email or next time i talk to them be like okay i put some things in that category for you so your accountant is going to take care of the depreciation but for Susie, we need to send her this report because she needs to give us information about where to categorize these things so let's click on this report just for Susie. so she has four things in there right now and then you can use these buttons up here to send it to her so I think the most helpful thing is to export it to Excel and then send her an Excel document because then she can actually type in her information. So she can be like, books by Bessie should go in this category. This nursery thing should go in this other category and she can type them in there. It looks like you can also add it to a management report, which I don't usually use this, but actually that's a good idea because I think you can automate it a little bit. Like every month, maybe certain people get certain reports. And so if you add it to that, then you know they're gonna see it regularly without you having to do too much. You could do a PDF. PDF, and you can also email a PDF. So this one, again, it's easy and quick because you're right in here, but they just can't write in it as easily. So whatever your preference is for that, you can send this off to Susie and then she will tell you where each of these things need to be categorized.